Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about nude lips. A few years ago, I filmed a video talking about all of my favorite nude lips. So I wanted to give you guys an update. So I'm going to swatch some of my favorite lipsticks for you that are nude as well as my lip combos. So if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. I thought about counting out a specific number, but there's just too many lipsticks and too many combos for me to do that. <laughs> Some of these lipsticks are going to be repeats. I know that they are still favorites and might have been on my previous list. I will go ahead and tell you guys that a lot of these are high end. There's a couple of drugstore, but mostly are high end lips. But I'm also going to talk about some of my favorite glosses because you guys know me. I tend to apply the lip and then I'm going to follow with a gloss. But before we get started, I did want to do a quick PR unboxing. It has nothing to do with lips, but I know that it may be a couple of weeks before I film my next video. So I decided to just go ahead and show you guys my PR unboxing. I will have timestamps down below if you would like to skip ahead to begin the lip swatches. First, I wanted to shout out this PR item that I was sent from Biosance, and this is Biosance by Reese, and I think it's called the Sunshine Set, and I got this beautiful makeup case. It has like a sunshine here, so it's the Sunshine Set, so this actually is really great quality. It also came in a bag, and you can use that as well to store makeup or skincare. This is the Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. I received that. I received the Squalane and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. And this is really good. This is a rose oil. It is the Squalane plus Vitamin C Rose Oil. Okay. I did film a quick reel on my Instagram trying out these products and I have used them at least one time since filming that video but I am trying to use up some of my existing skincare before I dive into this a little bit more but my first impressions were very good and I do have a 25% off discount code I will link all of that information below if you're interested in testing out these products but Biosance is a very very good brand so definitely something worth checking out I also received another product from Polish Choice and I'm really excited because I got back-to-back -back PR packages from them this one says hydration meet 5% vitamin C so this is it says the truth vitamin C is not only worth the hype it goes beyond glow to firm smooth and restore skin okay so it's got some other information there so this is the C5 super boost moisturizer and that's from Paula's Choice and this is the C5 super boost eye cream this is visibly brightens dullness plus smooths, um, strengthens and firms under eye and improve the appearance of discoloration. Okay, so that's what that is supposed to do. The moisturizer should boost radiance and firmness, locks in hydration for 24 hours, and strengthens skin's barrier. I'm really happy to have received these. Polish Choice is one of my favorite brands. I love everything that I have been sent from them. I will definitely give these a try and I will link them down below. I will test those products out and if I have good results, I will definitely give you guys an update. Hopefully in a favorites video. Now let's get started with my nude lips. I'm gonna start with the clear gloss that I have on. This is called Honey Milk. So this is a clear gloss and it has a nice doe foot applicator and it's called honey milk it is really affordable and it came from a k beauty website i partnered with them a long time ago they have really good products on their website their eyeshadows all that stuff is amazing it's a very nice hydrating lip gloss that i really like from them and it's called honey milk and i do have i think i have a discount code that hopefully is still in effect from a long time ago. I have that linked in my description box, but I will link that. So that is what's on my lips right now. I'm going to remove it so that I can talk about some of my other favorite lipsticks. So we have bare lips now. Let me first say two of my favorite lip liners are Cork from MAC Cosmetics. I'll use both of them today just so you guys can get a feel for it. 
and the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. And in all actuality, I have actually been using Foxy Brown more lately than cork. And I used to love, love, love cork. For today's video, these are the two I'm going to work with. So let's first start with Foxy Brown here. I think one of my favorite nude, nude lips is the shade Bitch Perfect by Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my go-tos when I'm creating a nude lip and it looks like this by itself is kind of a pink shade. So if you put that on by itself, it's not going to work too well on my lips. So I'm going to use it with my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So this is a creamy lipstick. Notice how this is definitely a wearable nude lipstick on a woman of color. Something that I love to top it with, this is a collagen lip bath. This is called Peachy Plump. This was sent to me with a Charlotte Tilbury order. And at first I thought, <laughs> what's so special? But guys, it just gives the most beautiful pouty lip. So it's sort of a clear peachy color. And it doesn't give a lot of plumping action. It is just very slightly, I feel slight tingling, just slightly. But you do feel it working, but not in an uncomfortable way. Whenever I have on a very bold eye, this lip combo, and it happens to all be Charlotte Tilbury, this is definitely a combo that I will reach for. I will often sometimes use my Dare to Bear lip gloss and this is an old one and it's changed colors just a little bit through time of using it but I also like to use Dare to Bear and I'm gonna try that on as well um, with some other lips. I will apply multiple glosses to get the look that I'm going after there'll be times when i will put on dare to bear I'll, I'll mix it up i like to mix it up but this is one of my favorite nude lips you've probably seen me wear this lip combo many times this one is not going to be a combo i'm just going to apply this as it is and it is almost at the very very end and it's called dip so let's see if i can get enough to show you guys what this looks like this is called wet it's a lip oil and the shade is dip and it is by Kosas. And this is what it looks like by itself. This is, like I said, almost on empty. I hope to buy another one. Whenever Sephora has their sale, I hope to buy another one of these. Okay, see how it looks there. Very sheer. It looks good by itself. It looks good on top of other things, but it's just a nice everyday nude lip. All right, this is called Velvet Fawn, and this is a Lisa Eldridge lip. And by itself, it looks like this. I'm going to apply this to my bare lips, and then I'm going to go in with the lip liner so you can see what it looks like and see why I don't wear it by itself. It's not terrible, but no. And this one has a magnetic case. Okay, lovely packaging. Beautiful matte lipstick can be worn alone, but I don't tend to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my cork lip liner this time. See what a difference adding just a little bit of lip liner does. It makes it so much more wearable. So this is just beautiful by itself. Of course, I always get a hormonal friend when I'm filming. You can overdraw your lips and get that pouty look. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss so that you guys can see what gloss can do. So then this is the Dare to Bear shade by Pat McGrath. And I oftentimes will use this to top everything. And I just love this. And 
some people might look at these and say they all look about the same, but you just they're different in some ways. And in this case, I would say this is great for people who love having the option to wear it matte. And then, as I said, you can apply gloss and you can get that same effect that you could with a creamy lipstick just by applying gloss. But the matte is gorgeous as well. So this is Velvet Fawn by Lisa Eldridge and also another one of my new favorite nude lipsticks. I've already lined my lips with the cork lip liner and this time I'm going to apply an affordable lipstick. I did a video a few years ago talking about all of the Maybelline Shine Compulsion lipsticks. The first two I think that I purchased were both nudes and I love them and they are part of my favorite nudes. One is Baddest Beige and the other is Undressed Pink. So let's try on Baddest Beige. So they look like this. So you see how that would look by itself. No go. Gotta wear it with a lip liner. <laughs> this is what baddest beige and cork lip liner look like by itself. But I'm typically gonna top it with a gloss. And so we're gonna take Pat McGrath again. Pop it in the middle there. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video as a combo kind of thing because I typically wear lip combos. I don't just wear the lipstick and a liner. I'm going to always apply gloss. I don't want to have to apologize for it. So, so my lip combos. <laughs> and you can always keep going back in and touching up a little bit. Oh, and let me go ahead and swatch this one for you too so you can see what this looks like by itself. If you have a deeper skin tone, you definitely want a lip liner unless that's just your thing. So now let's try on undressed pink. I have on cork again. Now let's do undressed pink. And that's what it looks like. I love this. I love it so much. It's such a pretty pink. So that's what undressed pink looks like with a lip liner. See, it still has a little shine to it. So if I wanted to put on a gloss, dare to bear, just pop a little bit. It doesn't really change the lip stick color that much. You gotta get this if you don't get anything else. <laughs> Because it will transform anything. And I love, like, when I wear this with pink, like, if I have on pink, it's so pretty. I love this with the pink outfit. And both of these are affordable. It was so worth it to purchase all 15 shades because now I have just a variety of shades I can choose from at any given time and it didn't break the bank. Okay, cork again. I'm on a cork kick. So this is, like so almost done i have used it this is tom ford lipstick and i wanted to use this one because it's also pink while this one is like a 50 plus dollar lipstick you can get the same look or similar look with the maybelline lip that i just tried on so here we go with my tom ford and i don't know if i told you what it was called this one is spanish pink and it's on its last leg. Like it's it's so gone that I can barely show you guys. But the Tom Ford lipstick formula is my all-time favorite lipstick formula. I love this lip. And it looks very similar to all the other pink lips I just showed you. Very similar to Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. Or again, the pink that I just had on from Maybelline. So you don't have to buy all of these. This is just my favorite formula, and I carry this one in my purse. That's why it's busted. Since I have on Tom Ford, let's use a Tom Ford gloss with this one. I, I'm going to use In The Buff. These are new to my collection. I have two Tom Ford lip glosses. This one is In The Buff. It is like a gold um, sparkly shade. It's a sheer gloss, but it's kind of gold shimmery. This does not alter the shade of the lipstick. So this is another gloss 
worth purchasing if you just like to apply gloss on top of your lipstick it is so comfortable so good it makes your lips shine and it makes them pop it's just a perfect gloss kind of expensive you want to get it on sale but love this i'm gonna go back to my foxy brown this is a ysl lipstick i've had it a while but this is the shade number 70 and i really like this they all look alike. I know they do, but they feel different. Different lipstick formulas. This one probably feels, I don't know, it, it has a little bit of a fragrance too. Yeah, this one has a little fragrance, but it's very mild and it feels super creamy. Oh, I love the feel of this one it feels so good on the lips oh my goodness i just love this but this is a ysl lip one of my favorites there's another nude that i also have by them and it's the number 10 and i like that one but i actually like this one more maybe because it's sort of pink like my spanish pink like these are all kind of pinky nudes that i'm that i'm loving they are what they are they're my favorites now to take it old school i'm gonna top it with something that's old school that i have repurchased and I used to love this and every time I try it again I love it again this is the nude lip gloss by Gerard Cosmetics you guys remember them and it is a lighted lip gloss so it does light up so perfect when you're in the club <laughs> and this is like a very opaque kind of gloss you could wear this one by itself probably without a lipstick and it's not super glossy glossy like sheer glossy but it does add that extra oomph and it just makes your lips look gorgeous so this is again by gerard cosmetics it's called nude and i still love the gerard cosmetics products but definitely their glosses and have repurchased these they're just amazing and they're still wonderful this is still a great lip gloss and again i have on ysl 70 with my charlotte tilbury lip liner and that is this nude combo oh, let's go cork again this one i had to grow to love this is an anastasia beverly hills lipstick and it is praline by itself i did not like this but i like it with the gloss So that's what this looks like by itself with the cork lip liner. Very beautiful on the lips. Just, you don't see as many wrinkles in your lips. It's gorgeous. Let's go back to my plumper here <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury. This looks like this by itself. And it's also pink, kind of pinky in color. And I like that this one goes on very thick and opaque, but not uncomfortably thick. It wears really well under my lip glosses, whereas sometimes some of the others may wear off once you put the gloss on. They wear off more quickly, whereas this one, it wears pretty well underneath the lip gloss. So I like the thickness of this under gloss, but I don't like it so much by itself. But this was not that expensive. I want to think this maybe was $20, but this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is the shade Praline. Getting tired of swatching. <laughs> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. And I'm going to go to another one that's a little bit pricey by Sicily that I picked up uh, recently. This one is called Sheer Blossom. At least it looks a little different. <laughs> It's more of a coral color. I love the case. I love the sheen. You really don't have to top this one with a gloss. But I am going to show you what it looks like with a gloss in a minute just so you guys can see. I carry this one in my purse all the time and I love this. I love this, love this, love this. So it was a little bit expensive. I got it during Beautylish's gift card event. That's when I purchased this. So I just recommend a lot of these that are more expensive to try to get them when there's a sale. But this is very good and it's by Sicily. And I love this. I love this as an everyday lip. And it does come in like a little velvet case here. 
So just for the sake of seeing what it looks like with a gloss, let me add one. Dare to bear again. And because this one was a little darker as far as the lip color, this is going to lighten it just a little bit by putting this lighter one on, but not too much. I love this. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful everyday color. It's a nude, but it's an everyday kind of nude. Um, I'm sorry. My hair is falling in my face. I just love that color. Okay. I've said it enough. I love that color. Beautiful by itself. Beautiful with the lip gloss. Very comfortable. Love this. All right. We switch back to cork again. This one I use all the time by Laura Mercier. It is called Bayesian Time. It comes in this case. I think it's also, is it magnetic? Yeah, this one's magnetic as well. And looks like this. A little deeper, sort of like um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, a little bit like that again. And I wear this all the time. And this one is probably one of my truest nudes, I think. Like it really does, with the lip liner, look like the color of my lips. So definitely one of my favorites to grab for that reason, I guess. It just looks so nude. It looks like my lips, right? That is from Laura Mercier and it's called Bayesian Time. Love this. And probably one of the ones currently that I reach for the most every single day. Like I reach for it every day when I'm walking out the door. It's the lip that I typically am putting on every single day is this one. And then I'm topping it with a gloss. I'm going to switch it up. And this is Ravish by Tom Ford. And it is a pink. I will oftentimes top my Laura Mercier with this gloss, but I usually will grab any gloss, but I will grab this a lot because I use this just about every day and I grab this one just about every day. So I know I'm using the two together quite a bit and this is what we get. So not as pink, a little more the color of my lips. I have on Charlotte Tilbury this time, Charlotte Tilbury, Foxy Brown, love it. It's just brown, but I love it. Okay, um, this is another Tom Ford, and this one is Sable Smoke. It's not a pinky nude. It's just a nude. See the difference there? Like, this is a true nude. Like, very uh, tan in color. Not uh, pink in color. And love this when I'm going for that kind of look. Very natural looking color. And that's what this looks like by itself. But you know, we're gonna top it with a gloss. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use our Tom Ford again. Because it doesn't change the color of the lip. It just adds the shine. So this is a great one to have. You can top your lipstick, make it shiny, but not change the color of the lip. So that's where this comes in handy. I know, again, these are expensive, but they are so worth it. Sometimes we can splurge on a good quality lipstick, especially if you choose one of these and it's something that you're going to wear every single day. You know you're going to wear it all the time, like I do with my Laura Mercier, like I do with this girl right here. <laughs> if you know you're going to wear it every day, then it's worth it the splurge. It's worth the 30, 40, and in this case over $50 price tag for me anyway. If you don't want to spend that kind of money, look for a sale like the fall sale from Sephora. This is Au Natural or Au Natural <laughs> by Merit Beauty and this is a lip oil. And I've lined my lips but I'm just going to apply this little lip oil this is like one of the most nude lips that Merit makes. The nudest one in color. Notice that it's sort of earthy looking, but sort of nude. So I really like this. Very comfortable on the lips. And I love grabbing this when I'm on the go. It's just a nice, comfortable lip oil to apply to my lips that actually has color. So I like this one. It's really a pretty color. Let me swatch it for you guys here. 
This is very similar to the Kosas in, in the, as far as the color. The two colors look very similar. It's funny, like when I film these videos, that's when I find out that I have a lot of similarities. Might be why I like it. But this is really good. They feel different though. They both are lip oils though. Both of these are lip oils. So if you buy one, you don't necessarily need to buy the other. And some people might not even say this is a nude. But it's sort of nudish. It's in the nude family. I put on the cork lip liner with this one. This isn't going to look nude at all when I first apply this. This is called American Woman by NARS. It's a deluxe sample. And I do want to purchase the larger size. I actually have it like in my loves. But I figured I'd use this one first. But this is a liquid lip. And I'm going to go back in here. This is probably one of the most comfortable liquid lips I've ever owned. See how it's just gorgeous. It's just a beautiful color all by itself, just as a liquid lip. So pretty, right? So if you like liquid lips, the ones that don't budge, this is amazing. Love this. But I tend to like to put a gloss on top. So I'm going to go back in with my dare to bear because this is what I will do in the mornings when I am here at my permanent home. You guys know I work somewhere different and I live here and a lot of times on the Monday mornings when I'm traveling to work I will grab this lip combo because I have a two hour drive and it will get me to work and it won't wear off in the two hours. Oh I love this. Like I don't know and I've I've worn this on my channel in a video before as well and I just I'm sorry I keep messing with my hair guys I'm so sorry just it's it's back it's back being full again and so I don't know what to do with myself I've been wearing this lip quite a bit on my channel I think I had it on when I tried on the makeup forever foundation I might have had on this lip combo but it is sort of rosy it's deeper in color but I would still consider this to be sort of in the nude family I love it so that's my final like lipstick but I did want to shout out a couple of products that are also kind of in the nude family this is the fussy gloss bomb any of the gloss bombs go on sort of sheer but fussy is one of my favorites and so is sweet mouth sweet mouth is on empty so I need to buy another one I'm gonna pop on a little fussy because it adds an amazing shine any of these add an amazing shine they make your lips super super shiny and it's just like a pink so I love fussy but sweet mouth is like um has sort of a white it's it's a lighter color see that okay oh gosh I love it but I, I gotta get some of this off I love having gloss bombs in my collection. They always have a holiday set. That's the time to purchase. Sometimes I have purchased sets that had a full size gloss bomb. Sometimes I've gotten all small ones, but look for a gift set during the holidays. That's a great time to purchase these, but these are probably my favorite. I like the original shade as well, but I really love Fussy and I love Sweet Mouth. So those are my current favorite nude lips and my lip glosses and I tried mixing them up just so that you could see the lip glosses with multiple lipsticks but you can mix up any of these to get your desired combination. There are no rules. There are no rules. I hope that that has been helpful and enjoyable to you. This is my jam right here. Like these types of lip colors this one is a little deep a little deep it's not really deep but it's getting there it's, it's a little darker than your average nude but a lot of the nudes that I had on the lighter nudes as you could tell there was some that look very similar to others that is my thing and it wasn't until I became a youtuber I really did not think about lining my lips and wearing light colored lipsticks I just didn't think it was for me and another trick guys like this is um 
the NARS lip that I have on, but I'm going to go in with another one. Like, let me try this one thing for you guys to see that you can also go in in the center. This is 70 by YSL. And if you want to lighten the lip color and just make it a little poutier in the center, you can do that as well. There's just no rules. Do whatever you want to do. But I really wasn't a nude lip wearer before YouTube. I just wore deeper lipsticks all the time. Red or something in that red, burnt red family. <laughs> that burgundy, you know. That was what I thought was the color I was supposed to be wearing. But now I try everything. I even have an orange and you put it on with a lip liner and then top it with a gloss and it, you can still tell it's orange, but it is not overpowering or too bright. So the lip liner is like a must. Not necessarily these, but if you're a woman of color, some type of brown or deep brown, make sure it's a little deeper, um, some type of brown lip liner is going to be your best friend to get the desired appearance with these nude lipsticks and just switch it up. Try different lip liners, um, try different glosses until you get what you're looking for. I wouldn't necessarily recommend wearing some of these nudes by themselves unless that's just your thing. I think that you achieve the best look by wearing a lip liner with these. It's just my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite type of lip is nude lips. I'm just glad that someone introduced me to it here on YouTube and I'm hoping that this video will be helpful to somebody else that is looking for their next favorite nude lip because these are all of the ones that I am loving right now. So I hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.